Okay guys, you're thinking about moving to Wake Forest, North Carolina, and you're wondering, is there anything to do? Well, have no fear, because today you're in luck, because I'm gonna be reviewing the top five fun things to do in Wake Forest, North Carolina. And we're gonna get started right now. I'm Mike Sanders with Mike Sanders Team Realty at Remax United in Raleigh. Today, I'm in Wake Forest where we're gonna be checking out the top five fun things to do. Whether you're three years old or 103 years old, there's gonna be something in this video that you're gonna like. And don't worry because everything that I'm gonna review today requires very little or maybe even no money at all. We're gonna start out today's video at one of my favorite locations in all of Wake Forest. It's called The Factory. The Factory can best be described as a sports and entertainment mall for parents and kids alike to eat, shop, and play. Probably the biggest draw at The Factory is the Polar Ice House. The Polar Ice House offers two NHL regulation ice rinks with all the bells and whistles. Both rinks offer public skate sessions, open hockey league play, and flexible freestyle figure skating sessions. They also offer year-round trackout and summer camp programs. Trackout camps give families something to do when the kids are out of school during normally scheduled trackouts by the Wake County school system. The Capital Sportsplex features this large indoor field suitable for basketball, volleyball, dodgeball, pickleball, and wrestling. Five Hole Sports with this convenient factory location offers everything needed for both youth and adult hockey players. O2 Fitness is a full-service fitness facility. The Tumble Gym is a preschool gymnastics facility, great for birthday parties, day camps. Hey, who knew you could get a tan at the factory? Epic Axe is crazy fun. I did a whole video on it. Click the link above. Hey mom, while your kids are playing hockey, go shopping at the So You Boutique, located right within the factory. The delicious skateboard complex offers indoor and outdoor skateboarding facilities. They also have an incredible shop where you can buy skateboards and all kinds of accessories. The North Wake Baseball Association has six full-size baseball fields available for league play. Okay guys, the next stop on my top five most fun things to do in Wake Forest is Galaxy Fun Park. Guys, this place is awesome. There's tons of video games, there's go-karts, there's laser tag, there's an elevated walking course, they've got putt-putt golf, there's a jump zone, they've got a huge lounge area where you can have birthday parties, there's track out camps here, there's just all kinds of fun stuff to do here. I can't believe I'm actually here. Let's go check it out. Galaxy Fun Park is an absolutely massive indoor kids entertainment facility. I can't think of a better place to take your kids on a rainy day than Galaxy Fun Park. There are tons of video games in this place. Almost one entire side of the facility is a giant jump zone. Toddlers will wear themselves out in this mission control area. This place is really neat because you can go in and you can spend as little or as much money as you desire. They have weekend specials where you can buy an unlimited attraction pass. There's a restaurant for the kids. There's even a lunar lounge area just for adults. Here you can enjoy craft brews from some of the local breweries in town. They've got a really cool laser tag area as well as an indoor go-kart track. This place is absolutely great for private birthday parties. You can have groups ranging from 15 to 1,500 people. They have corporate group outings. It's a great place to take your family for a fun day. Guys, this is crazy. I'm out here at the Extreme Adventure Park near Wake Forest on Highway 98. This place is freaking unbelievable. There's laser tag, there's paintball, They've even got state-of-the-art themed escape room. There's even an on-site jail you can try your hand at escaping from. Extreme Park Adventures is located on an absolutely massive site on 50 acres out near the Falls Lake watershed. There's tons of activities here. There's even a 4,000 foot zip line. There's also a rope course with dangling obstacles and hanging bridges. They've even recreated an urban warfare center. The City of Durham Police Department actually practices with their SWAT team here. There's literally a million places to hide in here. 
I'd venture to say that probably half of the complex is located within the woods. Playing laser tag and paintball in this place is literally like being in a real life Call of Duty game. At Extreme Park Adventures, you can enjoy a variety of amenities. You can enjoy a glass of complimentary wine while you wait for your kids to play. There's free parking. There's a picnic area and shelter that has over 50 picnic tables available. There's a snack bar with food and drinks. They have a party room that you can reserve for birthday events with tables, TVs, refrigerators for your convenience. They have Wi-Fi, internet. There's a conference room for meetings. There's a big 70 inch TV here with Wi-Fi and a whiteboard projector. They have video games. I'm telling you, this place has everything. Extreme Park Adventures even has its own pro shop. If you forgot something before you come to play, they have a full service retail store available with paintball and airsoft equipment. They have accessories and clothing. They have memorabilia. They also have seasonal events here at Extreme Park Adventures. They have a Halloween haunted house. They have different types of corporate events. If you're not too afraid of heights, you can enjoy the 60 foot tall zip line where you can reach speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. And if you've ever wondered what it would be like to skydive, you can try their drop tower from 60 feet up. Okay guys, the next stop on our tour of the top five fun things to do in Wake Forest is absolutely a hidden gem. I'm here at Winter Pass Farm. We're a couple minutes outside of downtown Wake Forest. This is a really awesome petting zoo for kids of all ages, adults, you name it. They get tons of families here, tons of kids, tons of birthday parties, school groups. Be sure to bring a bag of food. You can bring bread, you can bring vegetables, kale, lettuce. You can feed the farm animals here. If you happen to forget your food, you can actually buy food here. You can buy a whole bucket for $5 and feed all the animals. Hi, I'm Farmer Mary. If you're here for a farm visit, just pay right here. And then come on in. I see you brought some animal food, so we're gonna walk over here and get a bucket to put your food in. Former Mary operates Winter Pass Farm with her two daughters. You can also volunteer to help out at the farm. Winter Pass Farms is very conveniently located at downtown Wake Forest. It's about a 15 minute drive west on NC 98 headed towards Durham. This emu is really sneaky. He took almost all my food when I turned around for a moment. The petting zoo is located on nearly 10 acres near the Falls Lake watershed. There's tons of shade trees, so you'll never get hot out here. Parking is pretty limited, so make sure you get there early. Also make sure you don't park on the road to avoid getting towed. There's an area towards the middle of the petting zoo with a lot of seating where you can go sit down and you can bond with the animals. You can actually request to brush one of the bunny rabbits. This is another sneaky creature. I think him and the emu work together. There's a small admission fee of $10 per adult and child. For toddlers and children of adoption, there is no fee to enter the park. Once inside the park, get yourself one of these peacock tails for $5. They're really soft. If you're planning a visit to the zoo, please make sure you refer to their website prior to visiting, as their hours change from day to day depending on the weather. For a link to their website or any other attractions in this video, go to the links below. While you're at the park, make sure you see Henry, who's the park mascot. He's really sweet. Here's a sneak peek into what Farmer Mary tells me is going to be a future lodging area at the park. She plans on modernizing this RV into what's going to become a really cool lodging attraction. You'll be able to spend the night inside the park and live amongst the animals. Want to buy a gift card to Winter Pass Petting Zoo? Here's Farmer Mary's idea of the gift card, which is really unique. You'd pay $20. My son is like, $20 for a rock? I'm like, yeah. That would be so your granddaughter then could bring a friend on a farm visit. So this one came back. That was great. But there's sheep and bunnies. And then lately we've been we've been putting these all around here, which I'm going to give you all one to hide for me, where somebody will find it. Somebody will find it. It says return to Winter Pass Farm Petting Zoo for one free visit. And people do. 
Okay guys, I'm here at the next stop on my tour of the top five most fun things to do in Wake Forest, Strike and Barrel. Strike and Barrel is a really cool bowling alley. It's an entertainment complex. You can get food here, you can get draft beer. We're in the Renaissance Center, which is a part of Wake Forest where there's some really cool redevelopment going on. We're literally within walking distance of downtown Wake Forest. Let's go inside and check it out. Strike and Barrel is a really cool bowling alley that's located in the heart of downtown Wake Forest. There's a large open bar area with tons of TVs to watch the games. There's a huge selection of craft beers and cocktails. There's quite a bit of seating for dining and enjoying your beer while watching the game. They've got a brand new arcade area with tons of arcade games. There's crane games for the kids. There's an assortment of video games. There's pinball machines. There's pool table, air hockey. As of the production date of this video, there are eight bowling lanes within the facility. The owners, however, tell me that they're getting ready to greatly expand the facility to include a much larger area for entertainment. You can rent a lane here for as little as $25 an hour, which includes free rental of bowling shoes. They also run specials where you can rent an hour of bowling, free shoe rental, you get a free pizza and non-alcoholic fountain beverages. During the weekends, they have rock and roll bowling, which is really fun. You can also book private parties at Strike and Barrel. You can have birthday parties, corporate events. It's a really fun place to go. If you'd like any information at all about the Wake Forest area or Wake County in general, please drop a comment below. I'm a Wake County native and realtor. I get questions all the time about what it's like to buy and sell in the Wake Forest and Raleigh area. I make tons of videos about what it's like to live in the Raleigh, Wake Forest area. If there's a particular neighborhood or municipality that you'd like for me to consider for a future video, please drop a comment below. I really hope you've enjoyed my video on the top fun things to do in Wake Forest. If so, please leave a comment, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much. And remember, get Mike and get moved.